Welcome back, everybody. My name is Blue Jay, and we are back at the Reverb Outpost. In today's episode, we're picking back up again on the cargo ship project, and we've been working for a while on the interior, doing all the redstone stuff, getting the layout all put together, getting the interior design all made up, and it's taken us a while to get this far. So if you've missed these last several episodes with, that we've been working on this, be sure to go check those out. There's a lot of really like interesting redstone stuff going on and some interior design and all of that, but today we are finally getting around to the exterior shell. This is what's going to make this whole thing come together and look amazing. Now, I'm not sure how much we're going to get done uh, with the exterior today. Definitely will not get to the detailing aspect of it all. I'm just hoping to get, you know, a good chunk of the exterior frame put together uh, because this is very reminiscent of the, the airship that we built in uh, Unity Season 2 uh, that was sadly left unfinished. <laughs> Uh, but it took us several episodes just to do the the frame and the exterior shell and all of that. Uh, and this is like maybe half the size of that. So I really don't know how long uh, this is actually going to take. We've never done anything quite this large before on this world. And I've never honestly done anything quite this large before and completed a project this large in any world that I've ever done on YouTube or otherwise. Uh, so we're uh, basically just getting the, the basic shape of the frame down so we can start filling it in and making this thing look like what it's supposed to. So let's hop on down here for just a moment and I want to take a peek to see what it looks like from over here. Yeah, it's got a nice angle to it, got a nice little curve. So I'm just going to work on this for a little bit longer and get some more of the shape in place and we'll keep going in just a moment. Okay, everybody, we're back. We are pretty much done with the exterior shape. Let's take a little fly around here and I'll show you just the basic wireframe layout of at least the horizontal shape of our ship. Looks pretty good. It's very reminiscent, once again, of the shape of our, uh, our airship from Unity Season 2, except for once we get the vertical placement, can we land this? Oh, rough landing. <laughs> nope, we can't land it. Um, but uh, it's it looks very much like a boat in this form, but it's not going to look like that once we get the vertical columns in. Um, it's going to look very much like a rocket kind of spaceship. I've got a really cool idea in mind. I, I did some Google searching for like sci-fi cargo ship layouts, not necessarily like Minecraft related, but like 3D model rendered images of actual sci-fi cargo ships. And I have a really cool one in mind that I'm, I'm basing this off of. And if I can remember or figure out how to, I might try to throw the screenshot up on, uh, on, on the video here. So you guys can see what we're working towards, uh, because this is going to be the very basics today. Like I said, we're just getting the the layout in place and we'll do some, you know, block filling in as we can and hopefully we can get quite a bit of it done. Uh, but like any windows or any lighting or any other colors or textures, that's probably going to be in the next episode because the detailing, I, I don't want to rush that uh, because I want to get the right shape first. And that's kind of important when you guys are doing large projects like this. I don't know how many of you tackle large projects like a massive cargo ship for uh, a storage room. <laughs> this is kind of like an absurd thing to do unless you've got, you know, time to waste. Well, which I don't because my life is very busy, but I'm taking my time with this series, being very slow and intentional and, you know, trying to come up with cool ideas to inspire you guys. Uh, but that's one of the important things about when you do a large project like this. Just pace yourself. Don't try to do it all at once. Otherwise, you're going to get discouraged. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that shape. It's not quite what I want to go for, so I'm going to keep, uh, I think I'm going to keep tweaking it. Um, but yeah, pace yourself. Don't try to tackle the entire thing all at once. Uh, otherwise, you're going to burn yourself out. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to be like, man, I can't do this. It just takes too long. I, 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 honestly, I've been working on this project on and off because we went in, in, in an adventure. Wow, stutter. <laughs> we went on an adventure a couple episodes ago. Um, so we took a break, and then I had Easter week, which I didn't play Minecraft really at all during that week. Um, so we've been working on this on and off for, you know, two or three weeks now, trying to get, you know, the whole project done. Uh, but I would encourage you, just take as much time as you need. And if it takes you a few weeks to get a project done, don't try to rush it because you're going to get burned out. You're going to get frustrated. You're, you know, going to get discouraged. So don't do that. Pace yourself. Just take it slow. Enjoy the journey because once a project like this is finished, 
it's so rewarding to look at and be like, man, I built that with my own two thumbs. <laughs> if you're playing on, ouch, ouch, that hurt. I need to eat so I can regain my health here. Uh, if you're playing on a mobile device, you're, you know, using your thumbs. Or if you're playing on a controller, you're using your thumbs. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's so rewarding to look back at a project and say, I built that. That's so cool. Um, so, yeah, take your time. Pace yourselves. That's just my advice for you guys if you're working on projects like this. They take a while. All right, so we've got our vertical shape now, which we're going to basically um, copy and paste. Well, we won't copy and paste. We're actually going to place the blocks ourselves because we don't have commands like that or anything like World Edit. This is uh, Bedrock Edition, after all, and it is a survival series. We want to build everything, you know, by hand. <laughs> but we're going to copy the layout all the way across the uh, fuselage, if that's what you want to call it, the, the, the part of the ship that's going around uh, the storage area. So we're going to copy that same layout all the way around, and based on how much concrete it's already taken us to do uh, one row, uh, this is going to take quite a few uh, stacks of concrete. It's going to take it's going to take a lot, and so much so that I'm uh, I'm starting to second guess myself that we're actually going to get the exterior done in today's episode. I might have to do some of it off camera in between episodes, but we'll have to see. So let's keep working on this and I need to go grab some more concrete and then we'll keep going. Just wanted to get another aerial view of the ship before we get going a little, you know, farther with it. It's looking pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. I've tried to keep the episodes like varied in the aspects that we're working on with the uh, the cargo ship. One episode we'll do like redstone, one episode we'll do visual, another episode we'll come back to some redstone, another episode we'll do some more visual. I hope you guys are staying interested. If you if you guys are getting bored, please let me know because I, I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying the series as well. So if we need to take a break from time to time from this project because it is taking a little while, just let me know and give me some ideas on what you want to see if you do want to break from this project. But I'm, I'm determined to keep pushing through to get this one done. Our comment question for today says, When have you planned to switch locations in your world? Denzir Meerkat. I apologize if I butchered your name, but that's a great question. Let's get to it here in just a second. I am all out of gravel and need to gather up some more because we need to, you know, craft some more concrete powder and turn it into concrete. And this is one of those things that's taken a while with this project because it requires a ton of concrete. So I figured while we are doing some mining and resource gathering, we could go ahead and chat about this question of the day uh, because it's a question that I get fairly often. It's, it's an almost per episode kind of question. It is, it's not always phrased the same way. Some Sometimes it's like, hey, when are you going to do season three? Or, hey, when Update Aquatic comes out, are you going to build a water base? Or, you know, different things like that. So they're all kind of in the same vein, same type of question. What are the plans for the future is kind of what I get out of this. I don't know. I, I honestly have no immediate plans for swapping locations. There's still a lot of stuff that I want to do in this particular area. Uh, we are going to stay in the same world when we switch to another season, if you want to call it that. Uh, and I might try to get away from the seasons idea, especially if we start, you know, branching out into other places in the world. Uh, because if I do want to take a break from a particular location to go start something else, I, I don't want it to be like, hey, we're ending a season and now we can't come back to it. And I also don't necessarily want it to be a thing where it's like, I take a break and, you know, let's say we end on episode 75. That's just like a random number thrown out there. There's no plans for that or anything. But let's say we pause at 75, but we're not done with this base yet. Uh, do I continue on with this base in the next quote unquote season or do I like come back and say, hey, we're back in the world episode 76. I haven't been in this location for, uh, you know, 30 something episodes of, you know, a video on my channel. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been back. Uh, like, wh what do I do at that point? So, like, I'm trying to figure out the whole logistical thing with branching out into a new location and how I want to brand that on my channel, uh, because some people will come into the channel that are brand new and be like, oh, you're on episode 75 of a series? I don't want to watch 75 episodes to get caught up. 
Uh, so that's why I try to do frequent world tours and downloads so that you guys can jump in at any point if you're brand new to the channel. You don't have to start from the beginning. I would encourage you to because there's a lot of really cool content that, you know, that we've built up over the, the course of this season. Um, but as far as branching out, I haven't figured out the logistics of that yet. And I kind of want some input from you guys. I want to make sure you guys are still excited about this series and about this base. There, there's a lot left that I want to do. Uh, auto farms and like cattle farms and different things like that. Um, aesthetic stuff. I have like plans for like a giant war scene out front where there's a big battle and different things like that. Stuff that that's still like idea phase, nothing definite that I've got in mind. Um, but there's a lot of really cool stuff that I want to do that is going to take a while. And I want to make sure you guys are not getting bored with this particular survival series. So give me some feedback. Do you want to see this go on for a long time and keep going and keep trucking away at what we're doing here? Or do you want me to take a break from Reverb Outpost for an, you know a short amount of time to start building somewhere else and maybe rebrand the series into a more generic like Blue Jays world kind of thing? And we can come back here at any point. It doesn't necessarily mean we have to brand it as Reverb Outpost the series anymore. This is still Reverb Outpost the base. Um, what do you guys think? Should I keep just, you know, plowing away and working on this one location for an indefinite amount of time? Or are you guys getting bored? Do you want to see something else? Do you want something fresh, something new? Uh, and then we can come back to this after we've given it a break. And, and again, I'm not talking about doing this in the next five or ten episodes. I, I don't have any immediate plans to like pause this world uh, unless I just get like overwhelming feedback from everyone saying, yeah, we want to see something different. We've seen the snow biome for a while. You've been doing it since September. And what is it now? It's April. Uh, so we've been going in this one location for quite a while. So unless there's overwhelming feedback from everyone that says, hey, we'd love for you to keep working on this base, but let's take a look at something different for a little while. Uh, then I would be more inclined to consider something like that. I, I personally don't have immediate plans to do like a water base or anything like that in conjunction with uh, the update aquatic releasing whenever that does release, especially because I don't want to enable like... Uh, the experimental features in this world right now because I don't want to break anything. Uh, I don't want to risk that. So we are going to wait to do any kind of water-related stuff until that update releases. But even then, I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a water base that we're planning for, you know, timing or with the release of that update or anything like that. So what do you guys think? Let me summarize all of this, like, jumbled mess again. Should we keep plowing away in this world, keep this season, keep this branding for the channel, for this series, Reverb Outpost, or do you guys want to see a break? Do you want to see, you know, a significant amount of episodes left in this series, and then maybe we rebrand it to a more generic world, and then we can come back to it, you know, from time to time as we want to do more work in this world, uh, or in this base in particular, because we are going to stay in the same world. So keep going or take a break. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to keep things interesting for you guys. I want to make sure you guys are staying entertained and are enjoying the content that I am putting out on this channel. So let me know. Sorry for the long little bitty uh, chat session we've had here, but I, I really value your feedback and want to know what you guys think. And I want to make sure you guys are having as much fun at this as I am. Let me know. All right, so we've got enough resources to have another, you know, little bitty round of concrete here, but this is taking quite a lot of resources and quite a lot of time. And to be honest with you guys, I am running out of it. I'm not just running out of resources, I'm running out of time because uh, it's it takes a while to fly and get sand and then come back and then go down into the caves and get the, uh, the uh, not the concrete, the uh, gravel for the concrete and... Uh, mix those together and then put water on them and mine them and gather it all up and it's just it's taken a while to get this project done a lot longer than I thought it would with the uh, with the airship the steampunk airship in season two of unity oh my goodness it was like it was still tasking to get all those resources but it was much easier because you got logs and turned them into planks that was it. And you can farm trees like nobody's business if you've got a good source of trees and you've got bone meal uh, and and all of that. But the, the process of getting concrete is like three times as long. 
<laughs> so it's just been uh, been a bit of a, a process here to get to where we are now. I'm determined to get at least uh, the nose of this thing like semi done and as much of the outer frame of the fuselage as we can. Uh, again, not sure how much of this project we're going to complete today, but we're absolutely not going to get to any detailing. But just rest assured, don't look at this and say, huh, that's an ugly, round, square blocked piece of junk. I mean, people judged the Millennium Falcon by its outer appearance, but it's one of the most iconic ships in all of Star Wars history. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, I'm just like rabbit trailing here, but I loved the line in The Force Awakens when they're running by and they're like, hey, what about that ship? And and Ray's like, no, that one's garbage. And then her little quad jumper gets blown up and she's like, well, the garbage will do. And they start running and they reveal the Millennium Falcon. Hilarious. Laughed my head off when that part of the movie came on for the first time. So good. Uh, but yeah, don't judge this like people judge the Millennium Falcon. It may look like a hunk of junk, and we just fell again. <laughs> it may look like a hunk of junk right now, but that's because we don't have any of the detailing done yet. It's gonna be awesome. I've got really cool ideas for, like, engines, and, like, just the, the outside frame, and some lighting, and some cool stuff. So, uh, bear with me. It's gonna look a little bit ugly. It's gonna be an eyesore for a little bit of time here, but it's going to be amazing when we get it done. So, use your, uh, use your imagination, and kind of look at what the, uh, uh, the hangar bay looked like for a while. It was a giant square box for half the season so far. And just within the last, I don't know what it was, like 10 episodes? Just within, within the last 10 episodes, we finally got the mountain built around the majority of it. So use your imagination, use your patience, and be like, all right, this looks ugly right now, but it's going to look amazing once we finally get it done. So I'm going to keep on working on this, see what we can accomplish in the time that we have, and then I'll give you some more updates in just a few minutes. Well, it's not the the prettiest thing in the world, but it's actually starting to look pretty cool. I like how this is uh, this is shaping up. I'm really liking this. Let's keep going. Okay, so we are working on the nose of this right now, and I'm going to try to get as much of this done as possible, but something I wanted to mention to you guys about uh, this particular design style it's very much a feel thing. There is no formula to building a, a nose of a starship like this other than to just place down some blocks and keep pushing them back farther and farther and getting that curved look, kind of like we're doing now. We're angling it up a little bit, but we're still pushing them down a little bit farther. It's kind of a feel thing, and it's one of those things where you have to place blocks, destroy them, place some more blocks, and just see what you get. So that's what we're going to do. If you guys try to build something like this, just kind of feel it out. See how it looks, and don't be afraid to tear stuff back down if you don't like it. All right, so I've completely run out of concrete again for like the third time, and I've also run out of time. So we're going to have to finish this episode up soon, but we got the majority of the fuselage done. There's just a little bit left in the top right corner there, and we got the top of the nose done, which looks fantastic in my opinion. Again, use your imagination. The detailing is not there yet. There's going to be windows because you can't see out of this thing right now. <laughs> Uh, so use your imagination. It's going to look fantastic when it's done, uh, but the general shape is there. Let's hop on over here and take a look. Ah, uh, yes, I just love it. We may do some more detailing work with how that transitions into the fuselage because it looks a little bit blocky, in my opinion. You got like this giant block all the way across until you get to the nose and then it starts getting really detailed. I'm not super happy with that, so we'll we'll work on that when we do our detailing portions of this build. Uh, probably in the next episode. I'm going to do my absolute best to finish the exterior shell uh, off camera in between the next episode and, you know, now and the next episode. I want to get that done. I don't want to do any more of this work on camera uh, because there's only so much of this I can take and there's only so much of this you guys can take as well because this isn't the most exciting thing. It's kind of cool to see it all come together, but you guys want to see a finished product. You want to see the detailing and uh, that's what I'm determined to give to you guys in the next episode is getting the detailing at least started and worked out and, uh, you know, we still got to do the input ch chest system to get all of the items into the storage system. Uh, so there's still a little bit of work left to do on this. But again, determined to get this done before episode 45, before our next download day. So here we are, high above the world, 273 blocks above the world. And this looks incredible. My render distance is only at 8 right now. 
Uh, but flying through the snow and the rain like this just looks like you're flying through outer space. It looks like hyperspace when you're on the Millennium Falcon. Oh, it looks so cool. And then, you know, you, you start flying towards the ground and the ground appears. And here we are back at the base. Uh, I got some more sand. I got some more supplies, but we're going to save those for off camera because I am legitimately out of time. I do not have time to even craft this into concrete to keep working. So let's go do uh, our subscriber of the day, add them to the barracks, and then we'll call it a day. All right, all right, all right. The next person we're adding to the purple squadron in the subscriber barracks today is the Enchanted Totem. Thank you so much for being active in the comments section and being with the channel for quite a long time. I've seen your name pop up in the comments fairly often. Oh, and we only have one slot left in here, so uh, we're going to be doing another subscriber barracks pretty soon. Let me know what color you guys would like to see. So thank you all for being so active. Thank you especially today to the Enchanted Totem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that I've got for today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and are really enjoying this build. I'm just loving it. This is something that I've dreamed of doing for the longest time. I've built like partial storage systems, but I've never actually completed one. And uh, like even before I started doing YouTube, I built this massive like 300 chest auto sorting system that never got completed. I never even finished the redstone. So the fact that we have all of the redstone in place for this is like a dream come true for me. I'm so excited to have accomplished something this massive uh, and just to get the exterior aesthetics done to make it look like a cargo ship that's landed and is dropping off supplies to the base. I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Again, let me know about that feedback, about what you want to see, whether you want to keep going here for a while or whether you want to start winding down and take a break and then come back to this base once we've given a little bit of a rest. So let me know. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Always looking for new questions. Always looking for more people to add to the subscriber barracks. And if you really enjoy the content on my channel, be sure to check out the Patreon that I've got. I would really appreciate your consideration for support. It really helps out me and my family and just allows me to continue doing this awesome dream of creating content for you guys on YouTube. So be sure to check that out. The link is in the description below. But for now, my name is Blue Jay and I've got to fly on out of here. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.